Hello and welcome back to another digital painting lesson. This lesson we are going to be covering animations and how to use PhotoP to create animations and it's pretty simple to do. This is an example of an animation that I've created and we're going to make something very similar in just a minute. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do, this is what the animation looks like before it's animated. It looks a little sloppy, but we'll get into that in a minute on how to fix this, make it look better. But let's go ahead and get started with our project. First thing we want to do, create a new project. As always, you can keep the default settings alone, or if you want to make it into a square, that's perfectly fine. It's entirely up to you. It's whatever you would like to do. But let's go ahead and hit create. The first step is to always create a new layer. The new layer, for those of you who have forgotten, is down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It's a folded over transparent piece of paper. And if you click on that, you will see a new layer populate over top your background layer. Layers are extremely important, not only in digital painting, but also whenever you are doing animations because your layers are going to be your frames. The more frames you have, the more clear your animations are, and the frames is what's going to make it look like it's animated. So you are going to be dealing with a lot of layers come the end of your project. So what do you do with the layers? Well, first off, you need to start drawing whatever you want your animation to be. So in the example I had before, it was a person riding a skateboard. So let's go ahead, draw our person riding a skateboard again. He's going to be doing this right here and boom, he's got a skateboard. So this is just one frame of the animation. What do we do with the guy with the skateboard now? Well, the easiest way to make an animation is just to right click on your layer right here and then you go to duplicate layer. Whenever you duplicate the layer, it's going to make a copy of that layer, as you can see, and you can get your move tool selected and you can just move that animation over a little bit and it's going to make it look like that the person is riding the skateboard. So you can do this as many times as you want, but this is not going to look interesting at all. So what do you do to make it look interesting? Well, let's start a new layer and we are going to draw this same character just a little bit off from where he is right now. So I have that person drawn right there. I'm going to select the top layer and let's just draw him again. This time, let's make him be going up a ramp. So I'm going to have a ramp start off over here like this. And this is layer two that we're on. I'm going to have this guy go down like this. He's got his arms over here, skateboard, skateboard. Let's make another layer. We're going to hide that one. So now we know where he is there and that ramp there. This guy is now going to be kind of squatting down a little bit because he's getting ready for the jump. Let's make another new layer. The ramp is coming just a little bit closer. This guy, he is really going to be hunkered down now. And an easy way to make a new layer so you don't have to keep dropping down here and clicking new layer, you can actually, if we go up here to layer new, you can see that the shortcut tool for a new layer or the shortcut key is shift control in. So if you click shift control and in at the same time, you can see that you create a new layer. So that could be beneficial to you if you really want to move quickly on this. And you know what? We're just going to duplicate this last layer quite a few times. So duplicate and we're just going to duplicate this. That way it stays on that frame for quite a while. Okay, so what have we done? Well, we have we have basically created 
and animation. And as you can see right here, there's a lot of stuff going on. It kind of gets cluttered up. Well, how do you make this into an animation? You need to first select all of your layers of animation that you have here. Then you need to go up to Layer, drop down to Animation, and then Make Frames. What this is going to do, whenever you click on this, you're going to see that all the layers that are in the animation have been changed in their name. They now have an underscore, an A, and another underscore. This tells PhotoP that they are an animation. And what that means is whenever PhotoP goes to publish this artwork, it's going to show layer one and then hide layer one. And then as soon as it hides layer one, it's going to show layer two. And then it's going to hide that layer. Then it's going to move up to the next layer, show that one, hide it, and so on and so forth. That way it's going to create a smooth transition from one frame to the next. That is going to create our animation. How do you preview this animation? Well, you go up to File, Export As, and you select GIF, G-I-F. Now, it's going to take a second for it to load, but when it does, you can see the animation. And you can either have it be uh, the speed of 100% where it's defaulted at. You can speed it up a bit and make it go faster if you want to, or you can even slow it down. We want to try and keep it at about 100. You can go a little bit slower than that, but for the most part, you want to try to keep it there because that's a good solid transition speed for you. Now, what happens whenever you are testing this out? You want to see what it looks like, but you have already made a bunch of layers. Well, that's easy enough. All you have to do whenever you go up here to create a new layer, you just add a new layer, you add in however many layers you want, and then you do the same thing again. You just select these layers, go up here to Layer, Animation, Make Frames. That's it. That's all you have to do. And then once again, all those frames are added in. If you want to try to separate these a little bit further, say you want to separate them into sections and make it easier for them to hide and show, that is what folders are used for. So right next to the new layers tab, there is a folders tab and you can select that. And as you can see, you now have a folder here. What the folders do, you can store different things inside of these folders. So if you select all the layers that you want from one scene, you can just drag and drop those into the folder and now you can hide all of them at once if you want. And that's an easy way to manage some of your layers just so it doesn't look so uh, muddy and cluttered. Okay, so that is it. That is the uh, lesson on how to create an animation. And just in these few minutes that I've shown you how to do this, we've made an animation that has yeah, roughly 30 some slides to it. Your assignment is to create an animation that has around 100 slides. So it's going to take you a little bit. To save your project so you can work on it a different day, go to File, Save as PSD. That will save all of your layers as they are. That way you can come back to it at a later date and continue working on it. If you really want to back it up and make sure it gets saved, upload it to your Google Classroom or upload it to your Google Drive so you can just pull it back whenever you need it and you don't have to worry about it being erased from your computer. All right, that is it. Thank you all very much for this. I hope that you have learned something and I hope that you can use this information in the future. Thank you all. Have a great rest of your day.